Well, first at 5.30, an attempt to stop gentrification in the West End. Tomorrow, Etsy Cincinnati will show us its final design for the team stadium. And right now, an organization is trying to preserve affordable housing options in the blocks that surround that new stadium. Well, a West End nonprofit is planning a fundraising event as well in August for residents who could be displaced by the FC Cincinnati Stadium project. Seven Hills Neighborhood Houses is planning a celebrity softball game, 5K run, and homecoming dance on Labor Day weekend. Community Engagement Director Tia Brown says the goal is to raise $200,000. If we get a large enough amount, we could acquire something or, you know, get one of the ports properties and, you know, start to renovate it to get something going. And we're, we're also involved in the conversations around, um, you know, the Wade Street tenant solution. So we're hoping that the port and the city and, and the other partners can come together to get some kind of solution put together if people aren't able to find another place to live. You may remember that tenants on Wade Street reached a settlement deal with FC Cincinnati back in May to avoid eviction from an apartment building that the team purchased last fall. Those tenants have until January to find a new place to live. And this is all happening as the neighborhood braces for a wave of upscale housing developments expected to follow the stadium's construction. You can learn so much more right now by reading WCPO business reporter Dan Monk's report on WCPO.com as part of our continuing coverage of regional growth in the tri-state.